Hello 3E and welcome to your next lesson. Today we're talking about sales, taxes, and total cost. So we're going to put this all together. What happens if you buy something on sale and then you have to add the tax on top of that? So sales, taxes, and total cost. I can put all my knowledge of discounts, taxes, and totals together and calculate final costs of items being purchased. So we're going to do actually the same example twice with method one, method two. Um, so we're going to start with the method one that we've been learning. And here's our problem. Uh, example one, you need to buy a set of pots and pans before you go away for school. Canadian Tire has a nice set on sale this week. If the set originally sells for $599.99, what will be, not buy, but be, what will be the total cost to you if you buy this item this week? So this is subject to both GST and PST, which in Ontario we call HST, and our HST is 13%. Uh, this is a whopping 70% off, so this is a really good sale. So if you're going to buy this set of cookware, now's the time to do it. So we're going to start by doing method one, which is to calculate the actual uh, discount, which is the money that you save. Um, and then to calculate the actual taxes and then put... Um, uh, subtract off the discount and add on the taxes. Uh, so we're going to start by finding what the discount is. The discount is going to be the original price which we saw was $599.99. So we need the original price $599.99 and we're going to multiply that by the percent of the sale which is 70 percent. So 0 0.70. Now remember this is the discount. This is the amount that we save. So we're going to pull out our calculator and actually do that. 599.99 times 0.7 um, which says 419 419 dollars and 99 cents. That is a lot of savings, $419.99. So to find, the to find the sale price, the amount that we're actually going to pay, we take the original price, $599.99, and subtract off $419.99. So $599.99 minus $419.99 gives us $180 is what this thing costs us before taxes. Okay, so $180. Now, we have to calculate taxes. Now, the taxes are calculated on what we pay. So it's this thing here. The original price is no longer part of this problem at all. We take the $180 sale price and multiply that by the 13% um, tax rate. And this will give us how much taxes we have to pay. So $180 times 0 0.13. So there's $23.40 taxes on top of our sale price. And then to get the total we have to pay the sale price and the taxes. Well, our sale price is $180. And the taxes we paid on top of that was $23.40. And we just add them together. And what we are actually paying is $203.40. So we can say, therefore, we pay. $203.40 this week. Next week, we pay a heck of a lot more because it won't be 70% off next week. So that is a good deal to take. Now, we can do this a little bit quicker with method two. If you understand method one, I'm perfectly happy with you using method one. It's all there. We've got everything laid out and you can Put it down exactly the way that I've done that. Take the discount, then find the sale price, then find the taxes, then find the total. Um, this gives you even more information because it tells you what the discount. It tells you how much you're saving. It tells you exactly how much taxes you're paying rather than just 
um, final totals. But if all you're interested in are final totals, we're going to look at it this way in method number two. Now this is exactly the same example, so I'm not going to read it to you again. Uh, we're still saving 70% off this um, Cuisinart cook set. So the first thing we have to ask ourselves in method two is if we're saving 70%, um, what percentage are we paying? Because uh, we know that the percent we pay, 70% plus whatever we're paying, has to add up to 100. So hopefully you can do that fairly quickly in your head. And what we're actually paying is 30%. So now to calculate how much we're actually paying, we're going to take the original price, 599.99, and times it by 30% as a decimal, which is 0 0.30, rather than timesing it by 70 and then having to do that subtraction. This is going to get it for us right away. So 599.99 times 0.3 is 179.997, which is $180 which is what we found in the last one as well, only this time it only took one small calculation in our head and then a calculation on the calculator. Now the total with taxes we t talked about before, this here 1.13 stands for 113 percent and when we pay both PST and GST or as we call it in Ontario HST, um, we are paying 113% of the cost. We pay 100% of the cost because that's what the store wants for it and then we pay 13% more than 100% um, to, that goes to the government. So we're paying 113%. So rather than calculating 13% and adding it back on, we can make that calculation uh, all in one go by taking our sale price which is $180 and multiplying that by 1.13. And so what we get here is $180 times 1.13 and that's 203.40 which is exactly the same price that we got previously except this is only two small calculations as opposed to four small calculations. So it is half the uh, half the work to get there. And that concludes our lesson for today.